Hey, how's it going guys? Zerai here. So I wanted to share my thoughts on the recent Ubisoft Forward showcase that just finally wrapped up. Now, I thought that the showcase in general was, well, good. I don't want to say it was the best, it was not bad also, but it definitely was just, you know, good. I want to also get into all of the games that they have showcased here. Now, unfortunately, I am purposely going to be skipping out a lot of games that genuinely did not interest me. And those are such as like X Defined Season 1 Announcement. Now I played X Defined, I made my thoughts review sort of thing, a video about that, do check it out. Uh, they also showcase Skull and Bones, I have no interest in that at all. <laughs> Uh, Prince of Persia games, well, one in particular does interest me, but Prince of Persia, those two other games did not interest me in the slightest bit. Avatar Frontiers of Pandora announcement with its DLC upcoming, no interest. Then there's Crew Motorfest, also have not known none whatsoever of the interest. And then there's a new game that's coming out, it's, I think it's called like Anno 117 game, some sort. Like mentioned, I have no interest in that either. So first of all, let's get into the games that they have showcased, and first was Star Wars Outlaws. It looks good, looks great in fact. It has fun elements and gameplay. I uh, honestly don't really like the way that they chose to have those top and the bottom black bars. Maybe it's just the way they decided to have the aspect ratio, like it just doesn't seem like it's a full screen. Again, maybe that was the directional decision that they decided to go with, I actually feel like it limits the view, right? I think it actually limits the beauty within this game, and I think that's actually a bad thing. Nevertheless, I just wanted to mention it in here, it kind of bugs me a little bit the wrong way. Now, also, this game actually seems to be a lot grander in scope, and it tries to do a lot of things at once. Not to say that's a bad thing, in fact, what I'm trying to say, it might be a good thing. Of course, I'll have to wait and see more and what do... Uh, you know, reviewers that I trust and are credible that will share their thoughts and the previews for the uh, Star Wars Outlaws. Now, it's this is unfortunately, I'll have to say, it, it's more of a usual open world element of any other video games that you have already seen. And it's just this game has a Star Wars spin on it. Now, if this game would not have been called Star Wars, just say like, Outlaws, that's it, right? And to just show off everything here and get rid of all the Star Wars elements, I think it would have been that. That's it. This would have been every other day a different sort of a Ubisoft title that you would usually expect to have. Plenty of collectibles, plenty of things to do in activities, extremely repetitive, a giant open world, if that makes sense. Uh, again, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It really depends what kind of direction that you like to play and also what kind of games you like to play. Now, reputation system, it, it's not a new here, but I kind of like the way there's some consequences will be as well. Depends which direction that you would rather go. It could be something special if it's done right. At the moment though, I can't really comment on that. Lockpick system seems to be present here as well. Nothing really new here. I just wanted to mention because it kind of uh, like caught my eye for a second there. Oh, but this definitely caught my eye. The AI. The AI, AI NPCs are stupid as hell. They don't do nothing. They're not a threat. And so the only way that you even consider saying like, oh, you have a chance of dying is because they hit hard. That's it. The AI here, the NPCs are dumb as hell. Just like usual, any other Ubisoft titles. In fact, it's just, it's not really Ubisoft fault here because a lot of other open world games, unfortunately, have pretty stupid AI. Now, auto lock on, it has that kind of cool feature with a pistol you can do, automatically locking on, not automatically, you manually locking on to the specific enemies you want to kill, and when you do so, you will just kill them simultaneously, kind of like a Red Dead Redemption style. You'll be able to drive around with your speeder, even down, down in the roads, down on the water, and just seeing the beauty within this world that it has to offer for you. So it kind of has a nice view to it. It kind of it gives a nice sense of adventure. So there's also a buddy system that you can use to your advantage, such as maybe causing a distraction or interfering with some of the environments. You can even attack your specific enemies, you know, like, I, like I said, just for that sort of uh, distraction moment. But yeah, uh, nothing really new here that I want to say, oh my god, it got me completely gripped into the game. It's, it's day one buy for me. It just doesn't feel like that at least. Now, even though I didn't really feel, for example, that, oh man, I want to get this game day one, I felt the same way. 
yeah, from the very first presentation that this game got. And it's just the same thing here again. Still, I hope that people have a fantastic time with this and maybe they got something special here. It's coming out on August 30th, so it's very close by and I'm sure a lot of people will be having a good time with it. Now, here's an interesting game uh, that I want to mention. It is Prince of Persia Sands of Time is getting a remake and it's going to be coming out in 2026. Unfortunately, though, there was nothing really revealed other than a candle just getting relit it. Basically, it's going back in time. And I don't really have anything else to say other than it's getting a remake. Fantastic. I'm sure people will be looking forward to it. Personally, for me, even though I did play Sands of Time, I, it's not really one of my favorite games that I'll be like super excited for to, for to finally receive some sort of a remake. Now we're getting into the big one and the last one, kind of disappointing the fact that this was the last one. I was anticipating to see at least Splinter Cell Remake, but there was nothing that was going on with that. Assassin's Creed Shadows. Now it got its first gameplay look yeah, with Naoe and also Yasuke. And I want to mention they look fantastic, very brutal, good music, and it's got a lot of fluency as well within this gameplay. The combat, the way that these two characters carry themselves, it really works and really does wonders. And I really like what I've seen, the finishers, the abilities that you will be able to utilize. It doesn't seem like your character is completely like, overpowered like it was from the other RPG titles, such as like Assassin's Creed Origins, Assassin's Creed Odyssey especially, and Assassin's Creed Valhalla. In this case, it seems like it's a lot more grounded experience. And I think, I think we finally might have something special here. And by all that I've seen from this trailer, from this gameplay, this is a day one for me. Because this trailer, this gameplay in itself, already looked better than the yesterday's trailer that we received from Microsoft's, well, Xbox showcase uh, with the Assassin's Creed Shadows. But this gameplay actually got me more excited than I anticipated. And I'm super glad about that because I, I was hoping that this game would be something special and it looks like it may be something special. Man, I cannot wait until it comes out. It's coming out November the 15th, by the way. And of course, I as usual, Ubisoft tends to have these stupid editions. And if you order a specific edition, you will be able to receive this game three days earlier. Uh, whatever. <laughs> I don't know what kind of decision they even decided to go with this, just making it a little bit convoluted and complicated. And on top of that, some of the additions that they have included are not even that much worth it too. Well, either way guys, I will actually have plenty of videos coming out separately for the individual games that I'm definitely looking forward to. And Assassin's Creed Shadows is definitely that one particular game that I definitely want to touch on separately because I, got, I want to get into a lot more nitty and greedy of breaking down all that we have seen from its gameplay and just share my thoughts on that properly, properly. All right, thank you again so much for watching. Like and subscribe. See you guys all, and uh, yeah, have a wonderful day.